to both grow in wheatgrass a little bit differently than the, uh, than the conventional method in soil. Uh, I call it not necessarily hydroponic wheatgrass, but it's, uh, it's more of a hybrid because I'm starting it out in soil, but once the mat forms on the bottom and I can pull it out without it falling all apart, I, uh, I transfer it into my so-called hydroponic tray and it's just as easy as that. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll show you my setup and I'll show you how it works. It's very simple. Anybody can do it for very cheap. All it involves basically is a uh, Basically, your uh, fish tank air pump, and then a line going from the air pump into the air bubbler, and uh, basically this just aerates your water. And uh, if anybody knows anything about hydroponics, you have to have aerated water because it uh, uh, oxygenates the water. The roots uh, is what. You know, basically establishes your root system, and uh, it delivers nutrients to your roots more effectively. Like if you've got oxygen in your water, hydroponics basically aren't possible without your aerator, without some form of air getting into the water to form oxygenated water. So basically, uh, I just got a normal one by two wheatgrass tray. And what I did is I glued these little styrofoam floaters, is what I call them and uh, I get them all across my tray and what I do is I just lay my mat right over top of these and I fill the water level just right at the top of these styrofoam thingies and just so it's just hovering over top of it and what I do is I take my mat of wheatgrass this is actually mature wheatgrass but you, you want to do this around like uh, your root system is going to form in about I'd say three days or so and maybe more maybe less but uh, you want it so that it has this sort of mat here just so that everything doesn't fall apart when you're transferring it over and you take the wheatgrass I, I can't actually grab it with both hands so <laughs> I got the camera in one hand so you take it and you just bring it over and you just sit it on top of this hydroponic setup now the beauty of growing your wheatgrass hydroponically you might wonder well why would I go through this trouble well I'll tell you why uh, hydroponics, as we know, is far superior to any sort of soil growth. Um, the growth, the added growth, and just basically health you get from your uh, vegetation is is far superior. And uh, like I say, it's it's the only way to really do it perf perfectly. And uh, you don't have um, another thing is you don't have to worry about water in it every day because uh, you fill your water up and uh, basically you just check the water level every couple days to make sure it's you know to make sure your roots are touching or submerged in the water and uh, your water level can last up to four days four or five days without even having to take care of it or even look at it so I mean just that alone is worth the extra you know the extra time or money you want to spend to set up this hydroponic system and uh, I'll tell you it's not a lot of money because basically all I needed is a uh, fish tank air pump which cost me 12 bucks and then your base your air stone and I mean you don't need a powerful pump just you know your uh, average four or five watt pump will do it do the trick just to keep the water aerated enough so that it uh, so that it can grow effectively and uh, so that's uh, basically my setup um, if any of you are thinking of doing it I strongly encourage it because it you'll just notice your wheatgrass will be more healthy it'll be longer it'll be more green it's the difference is just unreal like uh, so uh, I, I really I got nothing to compare it to right now, but uh, in the upcoming videos I will uh, show you a comparison of uh, basically soil grown wheatgrass versus hydroponically grown, and the difference is just astounding. You're gonna you're not gonna believe your eyes really. It's just oh man, like when I discovered this system and what it could do for me, I got really excited. <laughs> I was like, wow, after all these years of growing wheatgrass and 
you know, to stumble across this, it's just quite the, uh, and to do it this cheaply, like, is just, uh, just amazing. So anyways, uh, that's my setup, and, uh, I'll have more videos to come showing you, uh, the progress, uh, versus soil grown wheatgrass, hydroponic versus soil, and, uh, you'll get to see with your own eyes what, you know, what the benefits are, and it's just unreal. Um, another thing uh, I didn't mention earlier, you can add nutrients to your water. Um, like I say, uh, I, I usually add sea kelp to my water, and it just, uh, like I say, anything you, any kind of nutrients you add to your water, as you know, goes into the wheatgrass, so the healthier, uh, the more nutrients you have in there, the healthier your wheatgrass is going to be, and uh, that's basically the whole idea. So anyways, that's it for, for tonight. Uh, keep watching, uh, stay tuned, and uh, I will have more videos to come. Thank you for watching. Bye now.